Today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 3 in the Dark Iris colorway. I've definitely been anticipating this sneaker and have been excited to get my hands on it to give you guys a review. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys dope reviews like this. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what these shoes is talking about. So starting from the outside of the box, as you can see right here, you have a predominantly black box, which is interesting because the shoe is actually white and I thought they would probably go with the lighter color box. but it is okay because I understand the elements with the different elephant print on the front end right here and then the iris purple whatever you want to call it with the jump man here on the back end now going to the size tag it reads Air Jordan 3 retro white black dark iris and retail on these is 200 bucks now flipping open the lid of the box right here you have your classic elephant print paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay first impression of this sneaker I gotta feel the materials real quick yeah honestly these aren't that bad I'll give you guys my full impressions at the end of the video and show you guys other people's stats based off of what they voted. But for now, we gotta talk about the history first. So when it comes to the Air Jordan 3 in particular, this model came out in 1988 and we saw Jordan jumping from the free throw line and I'm sure a lot of people will remember that iconic image. And it's kind of cool to see that they're taking that OG 88 style and 88 cut and trying to bring it back to life on all the new retro Air Jordan 3s that we have seen over the past couple of years. So for example, the things that they have done with the tongue and the cut and the shape, or the different shapes when it comes to the toe box and the shaping right here. And I'm sure as most people know, the Air Jordan 3 itself is a very iconic model. And when we see something like this with the pretty simple color blocking, I understand it does have that purple vibe to it, but either way, at the end of the day, I know a lot of sneaker heads are gonna like this shoe. So like typical fashion, we're gonna start from the bottom of the sneaker and work our way up and go over all the different styles, cuts, and materials so you guys can see more in-depth looks at this sneaker. Looking at the outsole right here, you have your classic Air Jordan 3 outsole. You have the Jordan brand right here with the branding on the back end. Typically on the OG models you'll see the Nike instead of the Jordan but because this is a retro colorway and it's not of an OG colorway of the retro I can understand why they put the Jordan right here now on the front end you got that purple right here at the ball of the foot and then you got your gray and your white on the rest of the shoe going up to the midsole right here you have white around the toe cap area and then white on the bottom end of the midsole and the iris purple at the top end on the half of the midsole and looking at the air unit on the inside this is also a white air unit as well now going to the upper you're gonna have a different mixture of materials you're gonna have your elephant print your smoother leather your tumbled leather your perforated leather more of a kind of suede nubuck on the back end and then you got your embroidery on the tongue and your plastic tag on the back end so starting with the elephant print alone like i said this is similar to that og 88 cut so that is cool seeing that element to it and this has more of that darker print with the darker elephant print on there and when it comes to the actual elephant print we have seen this in multiple shades and kind of tones to it so this is giving us more of a darker element to it it's not actually a black but got that darker gray vibe to it just above that you got your classic smooth leather that gives you the mud guard that goes around the toe and the side of the foot as well and then right above that you have your tumbled leather that feels pretty good and then you got your perforated leather right here around the ice day area and then you got your three white plastic tabs right here and then the purple at the bottom and the top where the lace locks in and then like i said earlier you got the purple new bug with the perforations on the back end around the collar and then on the back end right here on the heel like we were talking about typically you want to go you know everybody wants the nike air but I completely understand why they didn't do Nike Air on here because this is a retro colorway, not an OG colorway. And I like it more personally as an older collector. I like to see the Nike Air only on the OG nostalgic colorways that actually had the Nike Air on them. I don't think the Nike Air should be on everything. Let me know what you guys think down below. Yes, that would look good on here. Don't get me wrong, but I'm glad and I'm happy that they stayed with the Air Jordan branding. Now these come standard with a pair of white laces, no additional laces or hang tags. Sometimes you may see an extra hang tag for an Air Jordan 3 or a set of pair of laces, maybe depending on the colorway and what they decided to do. But for these in particular, there were no additional add-ons besides what you get for the sneaker. Now going to the tongue right here, you got the smooth leather at the top end and the perforated leather at the bottom end behind the laces. And on the top end of the tongue right here, you got your Jumpman branding, but it's dope because they have an outline with that iris purple and then the black on the center of the Jumpman as well. So it kind of gives it that little pop and that extra element to it. And it almost kind of reminds me of the Kobe 3s and different elements like that on other threes that we have seen in the past so i always like seeing those different little touches to make the shoe have a little bit more character to it now behind the tongue you got your purple material and then on the inside of the sock liner you got your black material now 
Honestly, I understand why they did the black with the different shades, but I'm like, low key, this might have looked icier if it was like a light gray or a white material on that sock liner. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Now going to the insole, you got an all purple insole with a white jump man, and that's gonna basically do it for all the elements and everything that you see on this sneaker right here. So now that you've seen some more in-depth looks at this shoe, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'm always interested to see how everybody feels about these, not only based off of my opinion, but based off of the audiences as well so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel i basically asked the people the simple question is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash this is what they said 83 percent of the people chose fire and 17 percent of the people chose trash and that completely makes sense in my eyes now when it comes to the demand and how much people like the shoe and everything like that we know the shoe game is having tough times right now and all the different things but at the end of the day if you're a sneaker collector and you like shoes and you're able to get the shoes that you can afford and all that stuff i think this was a really good cop because these are actually still sitting and available for retail price and some people are actually saying they think this shoe is going to go to outlets and honestly i think they might have a chance of going the outlets as well so if you can get this sneaker for 200 bucks or just under 200 bucks you're definitely going to be a happy camper i have a strong feeling i have a very strong feeling when it comes to this shoe in particular give it a couple years from now maybe two three four years i don't know how many years it's going to be but i think this is going to be a 300 350 dollars shoe and people are going to be like yo remember when we used to be able to get it for 170 dollars now look at it it's over 300 bucks i think this is easily going to fall into that category the color blocking is simple it's clean people are Gonna pull off some dope fits with it i understand the times right now with the financial stuff and how everybody's got things going on in life i get that but at the end of the day if you are a sneaker collector and you want to have these in your collection you're able to get these at a very good price and you're going to be a very happy camper because of it so if you're on the fence i think yes this is definitely a cop as you can see i added these to my collection as well i was happy to pick these up and i'm excited to rock these in the future the purple is extremely clean i think this is a nice twist especially when it comes to air jordan threes in particular we always see a lot of red black and whites or other mixtures with different blues and stuff but not as much with the purple compared to all the other sneakers so again very excited to have these in my collection yo if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side i built a vip mastermind that will teach you everything that i've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years this will also give you access to the dna fam in my vip community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers and don't worry if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your all-time favorite Air Jordan 3 colorway. For me, Black Cement 3s, all day. Can never go wrong. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see other reviews and tutorials and everything else that related to sneakers and PEs and samples and collections and all the different stuff, again, make sure you guys subscribe because I got plenty more stuff coming for y'all and we are going to end this year with a bang. We're on the road to a million subscribers. I'll see you guys in another one. All right, you guys, I'm out.